Minnesotans love water. For the past 20 years, a group of dedicated citizens have devoted their time to tracking the health of their favorite Minnesota rivers and streams by participating in the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency's Citizen Stream Monitoring Program. I was curious, why is it muddy? Um, is that natural? Is it from sediments that are down here in the floodplain? Or is it coming from somewhere in the uplands where it should probably be staying? So that sort of prompted this desire to learn more about the river. And through the stream monitoring program, I was kind of able to uh, do some on hands um, work to try to s understand a little bit more about the river. Well, before we started doing this, we used to when the program began in 1998, 17 volunteers monitored at 22 stream sites. Today, nearly 400 volunteers gather data at over 500 sites across Minnesota. For many streams, Volunteer monitoring is the only monitoring done on a regular basis, which makes this work and the information collected indispensable. The type of terrain that we have here, this, the flashiness of the streams and everything, it's very difficult for us as staff to get out and take those readings, you know, at the right times, you know, but, but a lot of the citizen volunteers would be out there that, that, that day or the next day are taking those readings, so we had much better data because of that. And I can report things like this slumping bank I've got here. If I wasn't down here doing this, the county soil and water wouldn't know about it. By visiting their stream weekly, citizen volunteers track how water clarity changes throughout the monitoring season, documenting how rain and water moving over the landscape can affect their stream's condition. Well, it's maybe just a 15 minute job for me because I can walk down from my house. And you know, I come down and I just get my samples, check the clarity, check the temperature. The role of the CSMP is to help support a fleet of volunteers across the state to help us collect water transparency measurements. And our volunteers allow us to get more coverage, more places in the area where we'll get information about water, and it will be there in the years that we're not. We typically only sample for a couple of years, and volunteers can be there every year. Sediment is one of the main pollutants of Minnesota streams and rivers. Too much sediment can harm fish and aquatic insects, degrade recreational opportunities, and to be expensive to treat for drinking water purposes. 65 By measuring stream water clarity with a Secchi tube, citizen monitoring provides a quick and easy way to predict the amount of sediment in stream water. We're kind of getting into a period that I've noticed when the crops have grown up tall enough, they put enough root mass down that we can handle a pretty heavy rainfall and not see as much uh, sediment in the river. Um, and kind of have some clearer water, whereas in the spring or the fall, before those crops are in or after they've been taken out, um, we can get just, say, a one-inch rainfall and it will become soupy, you know, with mud. Tracking water clarity helps identify healthy streams to protect and troubled streams in need of restoration. Collaborating with citizens who are dedicated to clean water helps make this work possible. The Pollution Control Agency uses data for water quality assessments. So we take those transparency measurements and we use them to help determine if our aquatic life is healthy. If there's too much sediment in the water, our aquatic life, particularly the bugs, are impacted negatively. Um, we also use that information to help determine trends. So over time, we can determine whether things are getting better or whether they're getting worse in a particular stream. We're looking at 20 years worth of data that's been collected through Citizen Stream Monitoring Program. and really where else do you have continuous data like that you know it's very rare uh, because of funding and everything so that citizen component is really important to that lo that long-term data that's available i think over the last two decades the csmp has made great strides you know we've went from a program of just a handful of volunteers to hundreds of volunteers across the state I think probably one of the most important things is how people have been able to use this data locally. They've been able to engage with their local counties, they've been able to engage with their neighbors to move forward bringing awareness to the rivers and how we can protect them. More importantly, the Citizen Stream Monitoring Program gives me a base to speak to people about water. 
and to be able to show them in ways that, you know, this impacts our watershed and it will impact your well. It draws people in and like, what are you doing? And in Al Elm Creek, I have found that too. People will come and stop their car and roll down their window and say, what are you doing here? And so I'll explain what I'm doing and, and everybody's pretty happy about it. <laughs> well, the one thing I think that, you know, as you come in contact with people, you can talk about the river. 